HOD and we have RAC from industry people. Do so principal is, is not your person? No. no. This is wrong. That is the why, this is the, this is the problem with all institutions. Okay. If you see the UGC guidelines, no? uh -huh. so it is clearly written. Principal will be the chairperson and three teachers should be there in RAC. Then I, IRR and R, IPR. Huh. In all these two, it is dependent on you. Okay. Huh. Then I think only <coughs> Mr. Sir as the chairperson. Huh. Sir should be, your principal should be chairperson. So it is statutory person. Sure. So you, you have to revise that. that. Yeah, I will send you some uh, documents. Sure, sure. Yesterday I sent to Nidhi Mabad. So these are the UGC documents. Okay. So that way now what will happen? If it is structured as per the UGC guideline, yeah, no? nobody can question. Nobody Plus can I question also. With the CAS documents. So first Giddy sir came and two people came. So I gave them all everything. They were so confused. Bichari Amara Giddy sir to nervous ho jai. Bidi kaise ho ka madam? Bidi sir chinta nahi kariye. No, no, no. But then I I just pitched the right thing and we were we got that. We were able to have that. So now totally how many students do we have? Uh, so around one, <coughs> yeah, one ten for the first four years and uh, final year it becomes so total we are about 600 students now. Now yeah. so With the diploma? With the diploma, I don't know, 600 total. So diploma I think I am not included. Ah. No, no, Which diploma? This was not there with us. Uh, no, they know, nobody has now. Sir, the team is awesome. Are you <coughs> also? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, uh, if you are able to communicate, you can make a world of a difference everywhere. So that's why the social media presence is now. It makes a world of a difference. Hello, Namaskar. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are, Good morning. You? How are you? Nice. And it was great to see your photos and videos in Ayodhya. <laughs> so, did she come or which one? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, this one. Crunchy. Okay. <laughs> very tasty. No, no, no. I don't Chai, coffee. No calories. Pakora is <laughs> enough. But you have to do cricket. Hmm. Since he's not doing cricket, he's not. Simple. <laughs> so, sir, how was the experience that day itself? You came back? Out of the world. Out of the world. I can imagine. Actually, you know, the uh, tourism which will in increase. UP. The ghat on the river mm. is 10 kilometers long ghat. 10 kilometers? Ah, sir, you got to stay. 10, 10 kilometers, kilometers <laughs> long ghat. Oh my god. I've seen Brand that. new airport, brand new railway station. I didn't see the railway station, but yeah. I saw the airport. Mm. Very nice. Sir, the railway station is so clean. Very clean. I'm told mm. very clean. I've been to Ayodhya, but six years ago. Yeah, so you won't recognize Ayodhya now. And the uh, road from Ayodhya to Lucknow. Lucknow airport. No, to Lucknow. Mm. It's a beautiful <coughs> city. Mm. And they have decorated the whole city of Lucknow with lights and diyas and flowers and everything. Pura Sher ko Chaka Chak. Lovely meeting all. <laughs> Nicely, colorfully dressed. Yeah. <laughs> all nice. All good. So good nice. So nice. Good so good so good lovely. Most of them are. All looking yes. very, 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 <laughs> very nice. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Hello, buddy. So lovely. Bolo, all set? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So are you going to dance on the uh, stage? Yes, 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 sir. Yeah? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, <coughs> sir, do we get a Sir, they had a choreographer also. <laughs> but then the choreographer yesterday was telling me that I only learned many things. <laughs> No, but you have to remember they are all teachers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They will teach anybody. <laughs> so I'm also here to learn from you. So tell me, what are you going to teach me? How to dance? Or you are going to make me dance? <laughs> there is nothing that we can teach, sir. Yes, he's all everything. singing also. Yeah, what are we learning? I'm a learner. <laughs> I'm a learner. We, we, we heard him singing. Yes, we, we saw, saw him, him dancing. dancing. Yes, yeah. he's conquered everything. <laughs> and you saw me? Yes. Yes. Of course, the leader. Doing good work. Yes. Yes. And I'm 
jealous. He's got so many women with him. <laughs> big advantage, <laughs> which I don't have. <laughs> Sir, there is now a new term, henpeck principle. <laughs> no, no, but uh, no, sir. But they are really great. And of course, former, fortunately for India, the pharmacy industry is doing extremely well. So they, you have an advantage. So any connect with any industry which is doing extremely well, you will always learn a lot of new things because they are kept all up to date. All these industry pharmaceutical yes. companies are very up to date and they have to be because they have to require American recognition, uh, the FDA approvals yes, for their uh, factories and also all the research yes, in there. Anything in this direction, I think that's probably the only thing where I feel yes, sir, our yes, sir, you're right, sir. can you're move right. up the value chain in these two yes, things. Sir. If you do that part and a little bit of Thank you. Thank you. So I'll see you. Yes. Okay. Sir, I will also go. Okay. We have a session at the top. We are very happy. We are very happy. reward principals, teaching, non-teaching staff, and dear students. I, Ms. Sakshi Jennifer.
one student.
we are very fortunate to have Dr. Niranjan Hiranandani sir, past president, Hyderabad Sir National Collegiate Board, as our chief guest for the 19th annual day, Sanskriti 2024. He currently leads the battle of Hiranandani groups of companies traversing from the flagship business of real estate to the new age business of data centers, industrial and logistics. Conferred with the title Developer Extraordinary, the one who redefined the skyline of Mumbai. He has immensely evolved as an industry think tank. He is the president of National Real Estate Development Council, formed under the ages of Government of India, Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. He is the ex-president of Associated Chambers of Commerce and Industry of India. He also played an instrumental role in the formation of HSNC University Mumbai. Dr. Niranjan Hiranandani sir is truly a visionary business titan, owning an acute business acumen, innate understanding of industry parts, and has deeply carved a niche by his indomitable spirit and unfathomed zest of life. I request Principal Dr. Parag Gede sir to felicitate our chief guest, Dr. Niranjan Hiranandani sir. Sanskriti is no less are replaced by lively foot tapping music. The sight of students trudging wearily to and fro between classrooms and laboratories gives way to young feet moving synchronously to dance numbers. Sanskriti is an utsav. It is a reward which the college gives itself for putting in the disciplined hard work throughout the past year. It is also a tonic which invigorates uh, and prepares us for the rigors of the year that lies ahead. But the icing on the cake, the biggest reason for Sanskriti being an utsav for us all is the presence of our beloved chief guest. So please join me in giving a rousing welcome to Dr. Niranjan Hiranandan. Sir, we feel privileged to become a part of your day, a part of your schedule. Sir, because of you, Sanskriti becomes an utsav in the truest sense. In the pharmacy family, I extend a warm welcome to Mr. Hoshan of the Hiranandani group. As a college, we have started working on the mantra that Niranjan sir has given us to try to do a bit better today than what we did yesterday. Working on this path in 2023, we did manage to achieve a lot compared to what we did in 2023. Completed three industrial research projects and increased our participation in Avishkar, the university level research competition. The median salary of our graduates increased to an extent and the outreach to pharma industry saw a market rise. On the development front, the college started Diploma in Pharmacy course and has now applied for another PhD program. This makes our college one of the very few colleges in Maharashtra to offer pharmacy education from Diploma to PhD. <laughs> the 
the renovation of animal house college backyard and two laboratories is already underway and upgradation of computing facilities is in the pipeline in recognition of the efforts put in by the college shri nichal israni of blue cross laboratories donated 13 lakh 40 thousand rupees which were put to good use by purchasing three advanced research instruments this year i would like to urge all my colleagues and students to act upon another great piece of advice given by niranjan sir that is to address and eliminate counterproductive behaviors and outdated practices within our organization while we pat ourselves on the back for what we have achieved we should remember that there are still some behaviors and practices that afflict our beloved college we should pledge to proactively do away with all these things that have a potential to harm us in any way academic year 2024-25 brings with it lots of challenge like nac only if we show the determination to further strengthen ourselves and flexibility to work around our weaknesses will we be able to face these challenges with elan i will end as always with a promise that this college will prove to be worthy of the name that it carries that of dr elesh hiranandani thank you very much and congratulations on sanskriti 2024 i've had the good fortune to be almost every year with you so it's uh, delightful to see all of you this morning and i'm glad that uh, you started early and i know it's my fault that you had to come so early in the morning but it's great to see all of you in the audience first of all congratulations to the principal gide for the wonderful work that he has been done and the leadership role that he has continued to do he has correctly talked about right uh, the pharmacy college moving now right from diploma where you went down and to phd when you went up so we have the whole range of activity that we have in terms of the education side so my heartiest congratulations to you who really have uh, done this wonderful job so congratulations to each and every one of you who have really taken up the administration see every year the cultural program also progressing so congratulations for the wonderful cultural program and uh, you know that was the josh helsman so i think that was really very nice and to see that kind of josh uh, in terms of the students is very nice and so my congratulations to all the people who have organized it and also the students for the participation which is really you know makes you to think let me share with the students that the best part of one's life is the college years so make the best of it i promise you there is no equivalent time that you will have so just see that you make the best uh, study hard party hard and enjoy hard also so we must do all the three together and that makes the life complete so uh, that's one bit of advice that i would like to share and my experiences in college is really something beautiful it's a lot of education a lot of learning but a lot of joy and enjoyment especially in the extracurricular and other activities that we do it's really something which is extremely important as we yep. you know that how does one person become from ordinary to good and good to great and all these things we have seen examples of hundreds of people sadharan ordinary who have had no background whatsoever in their lives but they have been able to move up the value chain and achieve things which is there and exactly what your principal just mentioned over here that's a very big secret if you can pick up that knowledge that you keep on improving yourself all the time the secret is let me share with you and it's an easy secret to remember that you need to improve yourself 1% every day it's very easy to improve 1% if i tell you to improve 100% very difficult it can say also that it's not possible but if you improve and say can i speak 1% better tomorrow for a teacher can i teach 1% better next time i make a lecture for a student can i get one more mark in what i'm doing next can i read 1% better can i do anything that we do 1% better 
those who love, can I love one percent better next time? I'm sure that's the easiest thing in the world. Do you agree? Yeah. yeah? Okay. But I assure you, it's not only about love, but it's about everything else in life. If you want to improve yourself one percent, it's very easy. And how much can you improve in a year if you improve one percent every day in one year? 360. You have to do mathematics, it's compound interest. So if you improve yourself 1% per day, at the end of the year, if you improve yourself compounding, it's close to 500%. And in 10 years, it becomes 50,000%. And that is the simple way in order to go from ordinary to extraordinary, from good to better, and better to best. So this morning, you have learned the secret of my life and mostly the secret of lives of all the people who have become great. They didn't become great first. They didn't start with greatness. Many of them led ordinary lives. People like Abdul Kalam, for instance, <clears throat> came from a very poor family, could hardly afford the initial education turned out to become one of the greatest scientists India has ever had. Became the missile man of India and created the atomic and finally became the president of India. Very, 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 very ordinary person. Humble person, but consistently wanting to learn. Consistently wanting to improve. Consistently wanting to do for other people. Continuing wanting to give. This is something which if you learn, whether you're doing pharmacy or you're living life, it's the same. If you're dancing, dance better. Dance more thing. Put that josh which you did this morning and next time even do it more. This is something which is really beautiful. The other program which you did this morning is about Lord Ram. Ram the program that I had the good fortune to attend just two days ago it was some, something very, very, very beautiful. And let me tell you that it's an extraordinary experience just going to Ayodhya. I went over there. The temple which was constructed, is constructed, is made only of stone. There is no cement and there is no steel. And it is meant to withstand the way it is designed to withstand earthquake up to 7.5 on the lightest scale, which is the highest possible things that have happened in just two years with granite and other stones, with beautiful carvings and completely done in the shortest possible time as far as that is concerned. And, and it, it will last only a thousand years. The life of this temple is a thousand years. And it is made in India. It is made by Indian design. It is done by the Indian architect. It is done by the Indian people. The material comes from India. Nothing is imported. Everything has been done by us. All this and more can be done. But it's not the physical part of the temple which becomes important. But it is the life of Lord Ram. The, the reason he created and had the dhairiya, the vision, the future thinking that he did, the willingness to have the family commitment, the willingness to give to the people of Ayodhya, the willing to sacrifice to go away just on values that he believed and in terms of the humility that he had in terms of interaction with all the other people, the willingness to fight for the right causes which he did and that's why the temple is not important only for the physical part of the temple or the statue of Lord Bal Rama. But it is the culture, the thought process, the vision, the idea, and the person. Because ultimately it's a stone. But the stone turns into a belief. A belief turns into a vision. A vision turns into an action. And an action changes the country. And let me tell you two small things which have two, a couple of small things happened. In the last two years, Ayodhya has seen a completely new change. We have a brand new airport, we have a new, brand new international level railway station. 
All the roads in Ayodhya have been widened. There is a ghat on the river which is 10 kilometers long and it is beautifully all done. And all this is done in India by the Indian people. So we have to understand and believe and you must have that belief that you being an Indian are things and people that can do things which are impossible. During the COVID time, you are aware that it was India which produced the vaccines. India which gave vaccines not only to the Indian 130 crore people, but also produced vaccines for the rest of the world in terms of billions of vaccines. And that is why you are fortunate as students to be in a field of activity where there is a huge future in terms of things in the pharmaceutical industry has a great future. So you are part of that future. But whether you will be here, here or here in that position of being in that field is your choice to do. You have to understand that people like Abdul Kalam didn't come up just simply by sitting back and doing nothing. They were active. They were participant. They had a fire in the belly that they wanted to do. When they decided to send people through space, the government told them that we don't have that much budget. The budget allocated for a particular project to the moon also was only 10% of what was spent by NASA in America for a similar project. But we as India did it. We as Indians did it. So you have to be very proud of the fact that you are Indian. But remember one thing, we worked very hard in order to see to it that in spite of the low budget, we were able to reach that part of the moon which no other country has gone up till today. We are the first to enter the south part of the moon. We are the people who will make the difference. 25 kilometers of national highway per day. I'll repeat, India constructs 35 kilometers of national highway per day, which is the highest in the world that we have. India produces more data than China and the United States put together today. What is going to happen in the next couple of years, I don't know. But this is what India is. So you should be very lucky. You are very lucky. And you should be extremely happy about the situation and the environment that we have. India has done a great job in terms of coming back. But what can you do as a part of that contribution to do? What can I do in terms of the contribution? What can we do together? We all have to see that we move up the value chain. We do better in terms of what we are doing, whether it's a work activity, whether it's a building activity, whether it's your pharmaceutical, whether you're in marketing, whether you're in research, whether you're into development. It doesn't matter what work you are doing. Remember, you have to be the best at your work. A classroom has 60 students, or they have the same teacher. But the production by the student, they achieve different things in life. Some people are less than ordinary, some are ordinary, some are good, some are better, some are best, and some are person, and every student who are sitting over here, to become extraordinary. All you need to do is 1% improvement every day. Have that fire in the belly, the josh that you have in the dance, also in the work and activity that you do, and I promise you there is. Read about Lord Rama. He has had all the cultural values which the world will look about to bring about a unification of that thought. It's a thought which we nearly need to do. You have good thoughts, turn them into a vision. Get them into great activity to fulfill your thoughts into action. And once action comes into action, that becomes your karma, that is your doing. And God will bless you that your karmas will make you successful and extraordinarily successful. Remember, 
the last that I want to say that India has the greatest examples of wonderful people and the best example that I can give it to you today as a conclusion is our beloved Prime Minister Sri Narendra Bhai Modi. Because he was an ordinary chai wala. An ordinary chai wala who became a person who worked in the RSS, came up the hard way, lived a very sim simple life, did not have extraordinary, but had a vision, had an action, wanted to do the work, and became finally the chief minister of Gujarat, made Gujarat into a leading state from a backward state, into something of excellence, moved on to become the prime minister of India, and wanting India to lead the race. We are already now the third richest uh, will be the third richest country in the world in terms of GDP, but it is not the GDP that is important. It is the thought process from the ordinary to extraordinary. Is he stopping there? No, now he wants to go to the world and decide that he will be a leadership of the entire world. And that's how we see the beloved Prime Minister. So, my friends, my young friends, if a Chaiwala can become a Prime Minister, what can you not achieve? Remember, you are an Indian and you can achieve anything that you want to do. We have seen so many good examples. I wish you the very best and may I see you as very successful people. And to the other people and your future and to the parents who are here today, I wish you well also that you have wonderful children who will become great and we will be all happy. To I call upon Dr. Nirinja Nirayanandani sir to give away the Rolling Trophy to go. Goes to second year.
Your support is instrumental in making our extracurricular initiatives a success. As we celebrate the achievements of the past year, let us also look forward to a future filled with more opportunities for growth, learning and collaboration. May the spirit of creativity continue to flourish and may our students continue to shine brightly in all their interviews. Thank you and wish you all a wonderful time. Dr. Nirendra Nidhalani sir and our esteemed principal Dr. Parat Gide sir, faculty members, distinguished guests and all my dear friends, good morning. It's indeed an honor and privilege for me to stand before you all to express our deepest gratitude on this momentous occasion of uh, college annual day, Sanskriti 2024. And today we have graced by the presence of uh, eminent personality who have contributed significantly to their respective fields. We are truly honored to have you, sir. And first and foremost, I extend our heartfelt thanks to Dr. Virendra Hiranani, sir, for taking the time out of his busy schedule to be with us today. And uh, your achievements in the field of real estates are really marvelous, sir. I, uh, your dedication to the betterment of society are truly inspiring, sir. And your presence has added immense value to our annual day. And we are grateful for the insight you shared with us during your address. And we feel privileged to have an opportunity to learn, uh, opportunity to, uh, to learn from your experience. Uh, for uh, I extend our heartfelt thanks to our beloved principal, Dr. Parag Kide, sir, for his visionary leadership, guidance, and unwavering commitment to the holistic countless students. And we are grateful for your constant and support and encouragement. And uh, I would like also like to express my gratitude uh, to the faculty members, teaching, non-teaching staff, and all those uh, my friends who have worked tirelessly behind the scenes to make this annual day a grand success. Your dedication, your hard work, you are not gone unnoticed. It's because of your collective efforts and we are able to celebrate this day as a such enthusiasm. And we reflect on these achievements of the past years, look ahead uh, to new opportunities and challenges. Let us be inspired and by wisdom shared by our esteemed guests today. And may we continue to strive for excellence, uphold the value instilled in us and contribute meaningf meaningfully to the society. And in conclusion, I would like to express our sincere thanks to everyone present here for being a part of this memorable occasion. Your presence had immense joy and significance to our annual day celebration. Thank you once again. Uh, we look forward to continued support and guidance in our journey of learning and growth. Thank you so much.